Hi, I'm Jennifer Bowman. I'm an acrylic artist and I'm going to be doing a quick little demo today using the canvases and paint here in front of me. I usually paint in watercolor so I like a wet and a wet look so I tone my canvases, actually coat them up with a layer of light molding paste that makes them absorbent. And then I use acrylics in a box. This is called a Masterson Stay Wet palette. It's set in a color wheel layout. So I'm adding water to this surface and dampening out the whole thing. The molding paste allows all those water droplets basically to hold hands and blend and bleed together to give me that wet into wet look. It's lots of soft edges. That's the fun part about painting in watercolors is the ability to have lots of soft edges, but sometimes that's a little bit hard in acrylic. So I like dampening out that surface, paint the edges while I'm there, get the wet into wet soft edge look first, let it dry, and then come back later on and do a second layer. So this is the first layer kind of done loose and suggestive. I need to let this dry so I can put another layer on it and block in some tighter brush strokes. So I'm gonna let this sit for a moment, flat, so it doesn't run downwards. I'm gonna pick up one that's already dry sort of the loose wet into wet look earlier. Now that it's dry, I can put some harder brush strokes to it. So this painting is one that I did earlier. It's wet into wet already established soft edges. I let that first layer dry. I did come back and dampen it slightly and added a few more places that I wanted to work some more soft edges into. Soft edges are hard to get with acrylics because acrylics dry so fast. So I've got some more soft edges established right now. To get harder edges and add interest, the human eye usually goes where the hardest edges are and the detail and the lightest, brightest of colors. So if I were to say these are people on the boat working, we're gonna to need to put some values of skin tone in there. Once you start to get the second layer on, you start cutting in harder edges and defining the detail and adding the interest of what the story is about. In this particular case, we have a story of a green. Complementary color of green is red, so these two colors next to each other are gonna keep the eye. But I will come back and add some more sharper details, harder edges, some more extreme value changes, and that will keep your eye here. But your goal is also to get people to look through the rest of the painting and come back. So the next step I like to do after wet into wet and blocking in some harder edge shapes is to choose whether the piece might need some palette knife work. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Palette knife is kind of a limited process, but it allows you to add some abstract movement to your pieces. You don't get a chance to do much detail. So that's the only other thing with the palette knife that's a little bit difficult to work with. So the last phase of a painting is coming in and doing the highlights and the jewelry little pieces of specialty sparkle pieces that make your piece stand out. And most of the detail is left right where the eye needs to go, where the power point of your piece is. My favorite part of the last little bit of details is coming in with a highly technical, very advanced application of the splatters. <laughs> 